Hey everyone, it's Rita with Everything Homemade and this is part two in Signs of Calving series. So last video, if you want to check that out in part one, I kind of showed you how Clover here and Chia um, were looking, we were, were looking at their um, back end, how, how it was, you know, puffing up a bit. We were also looking at their udders. Some major advances has been made over the over the last week here since I filmed that and I'm going to show you how close or how they're progressing. So we'll do Chia first here and you can see her tail is still flat. So we're in the clear as of this morning but when you do grab her tail you can see mucus. You can see it there dangling and uh, that's a really good sign. Now it's clear mucus. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. She's busy having breakfast here. But um, that, Chia, can I get that clear mucus right there? There's no blood in it. So that tells me her mucus plug um, hasn't gone. Just like uh, human births, we, we lose our mucus plug before we give birth. It should be have some blood in it. If it has blood in it, then I know they're within 24 hours. Sometimes 48 hours, but usually within 24 hours um, or under. You could also see how puffed up she is. Like, look at that. Look at the, at the swelling. Okay. She, so this is opening up the area for the birth canal so the calf can come out. So this got to be really nice and swollen. So this is looking really good, um, really good. The other thing now that I like to, to see is the ligaments. Um, with all mammals, the ligaments right right here at the at the kind of the base of the tail start to loosen up. They start to kind of recede back. I'm just going to move my foot out of the mud here. They try to um, go back, so instead of being really, really tight here, they kind of recede back like this, so there's more room for that calf to come out. Um, and so one really good test is, is that you take your hand here and you put it down, and if your hand starts sinking in, you know that those ligaments are loosening up, and they definitely are. I would say they're not, I mean, today there's no concern, but now is the time that I am actually going to start locking her up at night. One, because she's a new mom, and I don't know how she's going to react, and it's really good to have them in a tighter spot, just her and the calf, without um, the other cows around her. And it's not in the muck. As you can see, it's kind of mucky. It's still, you know, it's still wet. It's drying up. It's spring. So we're definitely getting close, okay? Like, look, we got some, you know, not my full hand can get buried, but, but we're getting there. And that back end, man, it's swelling up. And that mucus is good. It also helps clean the birth canal, keep things clean. Um, again, her tail is not up. So, so we're, we're good today. Uh, she's got a good appetite. She's not restless. So definitely making progress. The other thing is there's some major progress on her udder. Now her udder is really, she's got a lot of hair on her udder. So it makes it really hard to see how it's bulking up and she's kind of muddy, but you're just going to have to trust me on this one. It is bulking. It's just really hard to film in the muck here, but you can feel the heaviness in that udder. So that's Chia. Clover here, who's right beside her, is also doing the same thing. And I'm just gonna move back again because I'm walking in the muck here and it's a little bit hard. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. And she's making that same progress. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if these two girls go at the same time. Literally, they're literally following each other in the signs. If you take a look at her, again, she has, she has some mucus um, dangling as well. It's a little harder to see now. It's kind of mucky, but it had that clear mucus as well. Um, no blood again, so I'm... I'm okay. You can see her tail is naturally just um, relaxed. So that means that uh, there's, she's not, you know, pushing or, 
or anything like that. Um, she's not restless. She's got a good appetite. She's, she's eating. A lot of times when they're ready to give birth, they don't really want to eat. Um, so the other thing is you can just see, you can just see how puffy she's getting right here. You can just look at that. Let's see if I can move her tail. She kind of moved last time. I know. I'm kind of fooling around here. There you go. Okay. This way? Okay. So you can kind of see how much more it's um, puffing up. You can also see it splitting a bit right there. Um, so it's going to get more puffed up. This is her second cast. So I know how she looks when, when she is going to um, calve out. So we're not quite there, but things are progressing really good. And, and like I said, this is really puffing up. It looks different than, than Chia because they're different breeds. She has a low line. Um, Clover is a Jersey Dexter cross. So, so, you know, they look different. So let's, let's take a look here. Um, here is really soft. You can see how much my hand buries. So I'm going to give her, you know, within, you know, it could be a week or less. Um, she's progressing so fast, you know, and, and, uh, you know, days here, even tomorrow could be a total another situation. She could bulk up just like that. So I'm really going to watch her. Um, I may even lock her up at night as, as well. Um, but like, like I said, you, you could bury your hand in and that's a telltale sign that it's going to happen real soon. Every cow acts differently. Sometimes you're like, oh, I can bury my hand, and it, suddenly it's a week. Or you, next thing you know, four hours later, she's giving birth. But these are your signs. So watch, and you know, nothing's 100%, but it's really close. It's really close, and those tendons are getting really, really loose. Really loose. Okay, her udder, though, her udder says a few more days. Um, if you take a look right here, there's lots of room. You see how, um, how how I can pull that skin? That skin there should be taut when that udder is full with her. Like her udder will expand double or triple that size uh, than what you see there. So so her tendons on top, or not her tendons, her ligaments on top says, "Hey, I'm about to go," but her udder doesn't. So so. Um, you know, with the experience of her giving birth last time, her udder was massive for the first first delivery. So I'm uh, going to assume here that this is going to bulk up real quick. Um, we got lots of room here, lots of flabby skin, and that's got to stretch. So so it's a matter of watching, watching, and watching um, her. But but we're definitely going to have the ca some calves. You know, within a couple of days to within a week I would say here now. So really, really exciting. Um, watch, watch your cows closely. Um, you don't have to be out here every 10 seconds, but, but with Clover, I know she's a competent mom. She's an awesome mom and I know if she gives birth out here, we can actually handle her really nicely. She even allows me to pick up her newborn calves um, and bring them in into the stall just for that day to bond. So. Um, with, with with Clover, so I know how she acts. She's an awesome mom, so I'm not too too worried about her. But with Chia over there, kind of looking out, um, I don't know how she does. It's her first time, so so we're gonna keep on checking checking on her just in case. You know, I could be wrong, and she goes, you know, within within a day or so here. So. Nothing's 100%. Let me just tell you that, you know, everyone will tell you a little bit different, but at the end of the day, the signs are there. It's just a matter of when um, everything comes together. And sometimes um, their udders don't bulk as much as you think they should, and then they give birth and it just, a flood of milk comes in. Um, you see her udder right there while she was stretching? Look at that. See? Right there. It's small because it's her first time, it's just, so she's got to get stretched, but it looks like she has a really good udder. Did that go down wrong there, Chia? So we'll see. I'm excited. I hope you are too. 
So thanks so much for watching. I hope that helps. Um, and I will see you when some more progress has been made.